Hello. Welcome. In the name above all other names. And it is not Jesus. It is the name of love from 1 John 4, 7. That is his name, the John the Beloved named him. Those who love are born of God and know him because he is love, capital L. That is his name when you capitalize something. And so uh, Christians have been deluded thinking that it will be the name Jesus to which I read. That is his name. It's love. And you got to understand, people, that Jesus never heard the name of Jesus. Not once in his life. That was not his name. Uh, take our religion. It don't matter anyways. Because our righteousness is as filthy rag and uh, uh, compared to his transcendent love. And so is all of our understandings, good, bad, or otherwise. It don't matter. But believe this, that his name was Yeshua. All his life, that's the only name. He said, hey, Yeshua. That was it. It was not Jesus. Jesus came because uh, Jesus and Jehovah were Yahweh and Yeshua. It was a translation into Latin that did not come about for hundreds of years. So if you thought that every name is going to bow at the name of Jesus, yes, you're right. But it's the name of love whom he is. So praise God and know that it's time that we realize and we, we have to understand the truth that if the world is is if the if the world is good without the sun and if man is good without our eyes and the soul is good without our understanding then it is good not to know the truest truths that I would like to uh, give over unto you but unto those desiring good things, I am bringing you the words of the true bread, uh, the living vine, who is Christ Jesus, Isa Yeshua. Uh, the fathers of, of God's chosen children ate manna in the wilderness, uh, and they're all dead. But the living word of God that the Lord is bringing, it will keep us alive forever so that we will never, ever hunger again. And the living wine, if we uh, uh, partake of that, we will never thirst again. For the Lord has said, and his words still resound, uh, he's saying, listen closely, and you will hear the seventh trumpet sound first, because the first is last, and the last is first. And when that happened, all nations immediately became the Lord's. And the Lord says, I am the living food, which came down from heaven. And if any eat of that food, they will live forever. And so shall you live forever if you just simply walk with the spirit of love, with your love alive. As Jesus said, as a little child, we must leave the land of the walking dead where our love has just become a noun waxing cold. Uh, we must stir it up until uh, being a, a verb again, like when we were a little child. Otherwise, well, we only have a form of godliness, but we deny the power thereof. And uh, as as we prepare for the unforgivable sin of perishing, uh, our, our, our everlasting life that we have inherited would go away, not because he would take it away from us. We would take it away from ourselves. Because if we let his light of love in us go out, that is him living in us and that spiritual suicide. We need that angelic light of his that's within us to light our way for the rest of forever. Because we are angels in the flesh and all the creation has been groaning with great expectation for that revelation. Why do I know I'm Elijah who restores all things? Matthew 17, 11, that's my excuse. But here's the truth. Matthew, um, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John uh, are not the only apostles. I am an apostle just as they. I am the apostle and time re uh, revelator at the end. And the Lord will have his way in the storm and the clouds uh, of our hatefulness and uh, ignorance because there is no darker ignorance than ignorance of love alone. That will all be put under subjection, under his feet. But we must let love's light burn. And so praise God that the, the Lord says that the bread that I give is my truth. It's his word. 
and his word is always true. Uh, and the wine that he offers is his life that he gave for all that he loved. And within a moment of a moment, within an instant of an instant, the second that Abraham lifted up that knife, uh, it committed Emmanuel into coming into the world. Praise the Lord. If it had not, it only would have proved that man had the capability to love and obey God more than God had the ability to, to uh, have the same kind of love for us that man was willing to have for him. So it was an instantaneous thing. So happy are all those following after his way of love, but unhappy shall all those be who despises wisdom. And all despising wisdom, they shall be no more if that wisdom includes a loveless lifestyle. We will fade away.